Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's Mike here at Game From Scratch. I sound a little bit different. I am currently in a hotel on the road right now, but I have some news that I'm guessing you probably did not have in your 2022 game development bingo card. And that is that Epic Games have just joined as a premier member of the Open 3D Foundation. What exactly is the Open 3D Foundation? Well, it is a foundation for administrating the O3DE game engine. We'll get back to the O3D game engine in just a second. But what you're going to find is there's a lot of big name companies supporting this guy. We've added Epic Games to the list as a premier member alongside of a Adobe, Amazon Web Services, Hawaii, Intel, uh, Lightspeed Studios, Microsoft, and Niantic. Um, and it also just celebrated its first birthday. So it has now been around for a year. And as you can see, there is a lot of corporate support behind it. But actually, O3D has been around a lot longer than that. It started life as CryEngine. It was 3.4 version, I think, Amazon bought a license for. Used this engine in-house for a number of years. Uh, it was then called the... Lumberyard game engine, and I'll admit it has caused me some levels of frustration over my life, uh, but it does seem like a lot of corporations are getting behind it. So uh, we've got the news release with today's uh, racing faster and faster towards 3D technology. O3D provides a home for artists, content creators, developers, and technology leaders to congregate and collaborate, share best practices, and shape the future of open 3D development. The thriving community is focused on making it easier to use and share 3D assets with its partners and the O3D engine, the first high-fidelity, fully-featured, real-time open-source 3D engine uh, available to every industry. Okay, so you could argue that Godot is or isn't high-fidelity uh, or fully-featured or whatever. I think some people would definitely disagree with this statement, but uh, the two major open source engines are definitely at this point in time, the Godot game engine and O3DE. So why the heck is Epic Games getting behind it? Now, this isn't actually really that clear. Uh, so the developers of Unreal Engine have joined O3DF as a premier member to further interop and portability of assets, visuals, and media scripting, enabling artists and content creators around the globe to unleash their creativity and innovation by removing barriers in their choice of tools. That's from uh, Mark Petit, VP of of Unreal Engine ecosystem at Epic Games. So it's very interesting that this is coming from uh, someone on the Unreal Engine team because it also makes sense. Uh, the Epic Games store is an area where they make money, but also uh, they have uh, the Quixel, the Mega Scans, uh, Bridge, and that kind of stuff where they could potentially have integration as well. So the fact that it is someone from the Unreal Engine team that is doing the press release is interesting, especially when I read this line right here media scripting almost makes you wonder if we could potentially see blueprints supported uh coming over which would actually be really kind of cool because the visual scripting in o3d is nowhere near the level of what you see from blueprints uh so then we go on about the metaverse will require companies to work together to advance open standards and open source tools and we believe that open 3d foundation will play an important role in this journey with shared standards for interop we are giving creators more freedom and flexibility to build interactive 3d environments using the tools they are most comfortable with and to bring those amazing experiences to life in Unreal Engine and across other 3D engines. Move builds on their steadfast commitment uh, to delivering choice to content producers to unleash creativity in addition to enabling them to move media seamlessly between the development environments. The Open 3D engine allows artists and developers to consume uh, only what they need with the ability to customize components based on their unique requirements. So it's interesting uh, and it's a little bit confusing exactly what that means. So they're, they're going on about media moving of media between platforms pretty heavily. So I wonder if it's possible that they could extend this, some of the content from the Unreal Engine store so that it worked with O3DE. Uh, um, again, I do find this particular that they call out uh, scripting a as one of the things there. So again, um, further interop and portability of assets, visual and media scripting. Uh, so that seems to be where Unreal Engine are coming at it. But for the most part, Epic Games have supported other open source projects. We'll get to that in just a minute. Now a little bit more about the Open 3D engine itself. So if you want to learn more about it, it's O3D, uh, so O3, the number, D-E dot O-R-G. Uh, you can go ahead and download it there. There is an installer now, which is very uh, young in, in its capabilities, but uh, this is a true open source AAA game engine. It is under the Apache 2.0 license. Uh, from the age of Lumberyard, they basically have done a complete rewrite of a whole bunch of the systems here. Uh, it is managed by the Linux Foundation. There is good support behind this engine. A number of major companies are now supporting it as well. Uh, it's uh, definitely one of those engines I have my eyes on. Uh, 
uh, it has uh, extensibility in the form of gems. Obviously, Amazon is the big backer behind this, so you have integration with uh, all the Amazon technologies as well. And they're working on getting documentation out there uh, for you. It's, it's multi-platform. There is a Linux version of it available now that is actually administrated by the Linux Foundation. That, of course, makes sense. You can see some of the partners that have partnered with them. Uh, it is definitely uh, a broadly supported game engine, and some of these major partners, which now includes Epic Games, are quite large. Again, I find it very interesting that Epic Games are supporting this project, but that is not a first. Uh, Epic Games awarded a mega grant to the Godot game engine. I do believe, I don't think this press release actually said how much, but I do believe it was a $250,000 mega grant. Mega grants are basically no strings attached uh, grants to help media projects, Unreal Engine oriented projects, and open source projects, of which Godot obviously falls under that category. And now another major grant they made was $1.2 million to uh, the Blender Foundation. So there's nothing new about uh, Epic Games giving huge chunks of money to open source projects, but this one is a very direct competitor, and their wording here is very strange to me. So I'm really curious what you think, what their purpose is behind it, uh, why they would join the O3D Foundation. Now, the interesting thing is now uh, people on Unreal Engine team are going to be helping direct the future of the O3D team. Now, there are, again, areas where they, they could compete happily or they could cooperate happily which again is something may potentially asset store uh there are quixel products the epic game store integration uh epics online services uh but again i do find it very interesting that the person they have talking here is the vp of the unreal engine ecosystem uh, unreal engine specifically not necessarily all those other technologies and do keep in mind epic games also bought other technologies out there such as bink a compression system uh so we could see integration there as well it'd be ultimately very interesting to see where epic Epic Games being a premier member of the O3D Foundation is, uh, but I'd love to hear what you think. Comments down below. I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.